previous video, I showed that I took a, a wrench on the front of this motor and tried turning it over and it did not turn. Uh, so uh, my suspicion is that this motor is probably not any good as far as being able to get the car running with this motor without, you know, pulling the motor and rebuilding it and boring it, etc., etc. But what I did is I picked up a USB endoscope. And what that does, that's a, a bore scope that lets you stick a, uh, a camera down in each cylinder bore and uh, take a look at it and see what the condition of the bores are. So let's try that now. Um, this is a pretty simple tool. It hooks to either a laptop or a, um, I think it's only for, it says only for Android, Android phones. And so it hooks to the USB port and then uh, that lights up a, a light and a camera and uh, I've used these before, so I think they work pretty good. So let's try this one. What I'll do is I'll take all the plugs out of the, the engine and we'll see how this turns out. So let's give this a try and see how it turns out. Uh, first thing we gotta do is take the air cleaner off so we can get to the spark plugs. And this is a not very involved process. Pretty cool that this car still has all the original stuff on it. Uh, I already, the other day, uh, in trying to get the plugs out, I ended up taking this thing off because I couldn't get to the plugs well enough with this on. So I had to take uh, some of the uh, cylinder head nuts off in order to take this off. This is the piece that actually secures that air cleaner onto the top of the motor and it fits over four studs in the center of the motor. So. I've got the plugs loose, so we'll just take all the plugs out. I've already got them loose. We'll take them out and lay them out on, in order here on the fender well. And then we'll uh, take a look at the bores and see what we get. Fortunately on this motor, I don't have any plugs that are actually stuck in the motor. Unlike some of the motors over at the garage that I bought the weekend before I bought this thing. I've got one motor over there that I just cannot get a spark plug out of. I've been soaking it and soaking it and soaking it, and so far, no luck. It's also a motor, though, that is probably not going to uh, be any good because it won't turn either. Uh, but I'm hoping after I get all the plugs out of the motor, I'll probably try the boroscope on that just to see how it works. And uh, see how that motor looks inside. Well, let's hook this thing up and uh, give it a shot. So it hooks up to, like I said, just a regular USB port. And when you do that, as you can see, the light turns on on the camera. And so we're going to start the application here that allows me to uh, record the videos. And I'm doing this on a Linux computer, so in the video here. I, you probably can't see that, but I'll show it to you later. It just shows the uh, view of the, what the camera is looking at. And we'll start recording. Okay, so this is cylinder number one. And there's quite a bit of rust on those bores. I can see the top of the piston and the side of the cylinder bore. Actually, this is uh, cylinder number six. I keep forgetting about the Jaguar reverse uh, numbering on the XK engine. This is cylinder number five. This one here, the piston is quite a bit further down in the bore, so there's a lot more of the cylinder wall that's exposed. And we can see that, uh, again, this one does not look that great. to get the uh, camera further down in there to get the edge of the bore next to the piston. Okay, let's try cylinder number four. This one here, the piston is right up at the top, so there's not much of the cylinder wall that's exposed. I think that's it there. Trying to cylinder number three. That one's also up at the top. Yeah, pretty rusty bores. I will, um, when I uh, put this video together, I'll actually put these uh, the recorded videos from the endoscope into the YouTube video so that you can see what I'm looking at here, because you're not going to be able to see it on the screen here now. 
And let's do the last one, cylinder number one here in the back. Yeah, pretty much the same. Yeah, I don't think this uh, this engine's gonna live, or at least not without taking it apart, reboring it, putting new pistons in it, and bearings and etc. So, um, actually, in the it looks half. The strange thing is when you look here inside the uh, cam cover where you add the oil. It looks okay there, but the cylinder bores are just toast. So, needs a lot of work. Also, I think the uh, the carburetors are pretty, the linkage is really stiff. So, who knows what it's like actually inside the carburetors. So, so this, board, this endoscope, this USB base endoscope actually worked really well. Uh, I think it's something that since it's they're only like eleven twelve dollars on eBay uh, with free shipping uh, I think it's something everybody should have in their toolbox to uh, see what's inside a motor I can recommend these highly uh, they're pretty useful and easy to use so I hope you enjoyed this video leave a comment down below if you have any questions thank you very much